cohesion integral formula has a few nice consequences. If a function is analytic, then all its derivatives are analytic too. This is remarkable and certainly not true for real functions. A real differentiable function needs to be need not to be differentiable infinitely many times. Think for example of a of x equals x to the power 1.5, which is differentiable only once in the origin. Well, proving this special property is very easy once we have Cauchy integral formula. It's only two lines as you will see in this video. We will also prove the converse of Cauchy cosa. If all integrals along simple clo con closed contours are zero, then f of z is analytic. This is called Morera's theory. And proving it is now also only two lines. So let us, let us take a look at this in this video. So first, if f of z is analytic at point z0, then all its derivatives are analytic too. So what's the idea? If f of z is analytic in z0, then by definition, f is analytic in some neighborhood, b epsilon z0, so inside a small neighborhood. So we choose a slightly smaller c with radius one half, because we have to make this c slightly smaller because we need our f of z to be analytic on and inside c, so also on c. And, uh, and at, uh, we know only that um, f of z is analytic inside this region. So we have to take a slightly smaller radius, just pick one half of it. You could, you could pick a 3 epsilon over 4 as well, or 7 epsilon over 8 or whatever, as long as you are slightly smaller than epsilon. So then we use Cauchy's integral formula, second derivative of f of z equals 1 over pi i times this integral over here. That means that the second derivative of f exists in this slightly smaller uh, region, but if the second derivative exists in this entire, entirely everywhere in this smaller region, that means that f prime is analytic because the derivative of f prime exists. So that means that f prime is analytic in this slightly smaller region. And you can repeat this argument with this argument. You, you have f is analytic and f prime is analytic. You can repeat the same argument and uh, on and on with this Cauchy's integral formula and prove that uh, all derivatives of uh, f are analytic. So that's nice. And then the second theory, Morera, if f is continuous in domain d and if the all integrals are zero uh, for every uh, simple closed contour in d, then f of z has to be analytic throughout d. Well, why is that? Uh, well, we know from the previous theorem that uh, f of z has an antiderivative, capital F of z on d, uh, from the antiderivative. We know that if you differentiate the antiderivative, you get small f back. So that means in particular that the capital F is uh, analytic on d, well, because uh, the its derivative exists. But now using our first theorem, if uh, capital F is analytic, and all its derivatives are analytic too. So apply the first theorem, capital F is analytic, so capital F prime is also analytic, but capital F prime is small f, so small f is analytic on D2. So if uh, the uh, integrals along closed contours are all zero, then uh, F has to be analytic, the converse of Cauchy-Cosa.